Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with my spring wardrobe lookbook and I thought I'd do this a little bit differently to usual but as you will see I have got a really fun colour palette to bring in the new season. Something a little bit different for me but I'm really hoping you guys are going to enjoy this format. I'm going to talk you through each of the outfits starting with my first one which is super simple. It's just this huge oversized sweater from Country Road and a little frilly skirt from Topshop. I really like the way that these two items pair together and honestly they're just leading into my favorite outfit of this entire lookbook which really incorporates the frill trend and also pink which I can't get enough of clearly. Now this outfit incorporates a few of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe at the moment. We've got the polka dot top from Susan which has beautiful ruffled sleeves, the white denim skirt from J Crew, which goes with absolutely everything, I highly recommend picking one up, this pink coat from Karen Walker which I probably spent about five years trying to track down, my kitty flats which you guys know are my absolute favourite pair of shoes and also my linear tote bag which I couldn't be without for the working week. I really like the way that these items go together. I think it's a lot more fun, a lot more fanciful, and just a little bit more whimsical than my usual outfits. I feel like my next look incorporates a couple of trends that are probably gonna be popping up a lot this spring, and that is off the shoulder, gingham, and straw bags. Now, clearly the blogosphere has not been able to get enough, and neither can I, and while I haven't had much of an opportunity to wear this dress, I got it from Urban Outfitters, and I absolutely adore the silhouette. I love the fact that it's really fitted around the bust, but it has this really beautiful floaty skirt which also has a slit you can't see it very well from the video but I assure you it's there it's a little bit sexy and a little bit unexpected but I just feel like this whole outfit works really well with the straw bag and it helps to offset the black and white gingham print obviously for me this is a really easy way to incorporate these trends into my wardrobe without straying too far from my typical color palette now speaking of my typical color palette you guys know I tend to wear black so much and in spring it's really not that different i do tend to wear a bit more white but this outfit incorporates a few of my favorite black items i've got a skivvy from uniqlo this really beautiful ruffle silk dress from grana which i love and also looks great on its own and also this trench from dress up which i think is great to throw on and it adds another element of interest and also a few more kind of fun details to the look now when it comes to casual wear, I'm really getting into jeans. I don't know what it is, but this last maybe eight months, I'm just all about them. And the ASOS mom jean are 100% my favorite. I highly, highly recommend them and would say maybe size down one because the denim does stretch out a little bit. I'm wearing them here with this peachy colored sweater from Assembly Label, which again is oversized, so do size down if you go for it. But I love this combination, particularly with the nude heels from Everlane. I just feel like it works really well. And to try and offset all of the lighter tones, I'm pairing it with this faux leather Mansur Gabrielle inspired bag from High 11. I absolutely love this and it's definitely a great way to try out a piece that's a little bit more expensive, but the style of bag is really cool. You can wear it either on your shoulder or you can wear it held like a top handle. And as you can see, it's a little bit of a backpack style, so it's super roomy and you can fit heaps in there and it also has a really kind of strong closure. Now, my next outfit, is incorporating culottes which if you guys didn't see my how to wear culottes video I'm going to put it up the top to check it out I adore culottes they're one of my favorite things to wear in the warmer months and I know that this season is going to be no exception I've paired it here with a little silk cami from Everlane and also my Everlane trench coat and a pair of pointed heels Now, what I like about this is that I feel as though the color palette is a little bit unexpected to pair all these colors together it's quite cool tone but I think it works really well and and I mean, personally, I tend to like wearing something that's a little bit more loose when I'm wearing something a bit tighter or fitted on the bottom. And as you can see with these culottes, they're quite fitted around the waist and around the bum area, and then they flare out towards your calf. So I feel like having something that's a bit more loose on top helps to balance out that proportion. Now for my next outfit, I'm going for some of my favorite things, which as you know, stripes are always a favorite of mine, but I'm absolutely obsessed with this military jacket from Workshop. Now here, I've gone for quite a muted color palette. So the skirt is sort of a khaki, but it's a lighter khaki color. And then I've got the blush pink 
Philip Lim Pashley bag, which I think pairs really well and it helps to offset all the green tones in the outfit. Now for my last look that I'm going to be showing you guys, this is actually one that I have shared on my blog and I'm going to link that down below in the description box in case you want to check it out, but I'm really into relaxed silhouettes at the moment. This outfit in particular I think just encapsulates all of that. The big oversized denim jacket with a big white shirt dress, a cute little pair of flats. I've also got a cute little bandana on and I have my Chanel boy bag which has just become my absolute go-to weekend bag at the moment. I just think it goes with every single outfit. Those are my seven outfits for spring that I wanted to share with you guys. I am hoping to do a bit more of a vloggy style what I wear in a week video so if you guys want to see that do let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!